Good morning, Summit and Horizon students. This is a quick video to remind you how to log in for your CASP test in the next few weeks. The first link here is a video that will take you to YouTube. It will show you a student taking a remote test. For those of you on campus, the same rules apply. It will show you and take you through a couple screens that should remind you what it is that you need to do on the day of the test. Okay, that link is on the first slide there. Just an overview of the student steps. You're going to completely sign out of your Chromebook, go down to the app waffle, choose Secure Test Browser, type in your first name, SSID, and session ID. You're going to confirm it's you, select the test your, te your teacher provides you, wait for their approval, turn on your camera and mic, and then you'll be able to begin the test. Here are some visuals to go along with those steps. When you log out of your Chromebook, do not put your password in. Do not put your password in. You're going to rather go straight down to the app waffle, find where it says secure test browser, click secure test browser. It will bring you to this page here. Your screen is completely white except for that drop down. You're going to click that drop down and you're going to go all the way down until you find California. Once you click California, it will populate and you'll be able to click the OK button. You see, you can't click it until you choose California and then you'll be able to click OK. The next screen you see, you'll type in your first name only, not your first and middle, not your first and last name, not your email address, just your first name. Then you're going to type in your SSID. Your teacher should provide this to you a week or two before your testing date. Then you're going to get your session ID from your teacher that day. The session ID changes every single day. Once you type this information in, you're going to confirm that it's you by clicking yes. You're going to choose the test that they provide for you that day. And then you're going to wait for their approval. This screen sometimes takes a few extra seconds, so just be patient as your computers talk to each other. You're going to alert or turn on, I'm sorry, your activate your camera and mic. You're going to click this box here and grant permission. Click the video camera and it will turn blue and then it will open up and see your face. You should see your face on the screen. Then you will be able to click I see myself. You see that I see myself here and here. It is not green and it won't turn green until it actually sees you. At that point, you'll be able to click that and move on to alert um, the other the other widgets in your system. Press this play button here. You'll hear a chime. You'll see music notes. This will turn green. I could play the sound and video. Some of you will have to activate this box. You'll click this circle here. Listen to the voice and then you'll click the green box. I heard the sound. This pop-up may come up. If it does, you do want to click allow so that your microphone and camera can be used during the test session. Then you will begin test now. As you go on through the test, you can go back and forth to your questions using these arrows. This end test, you will click when you've done 100% of your test. Then this pop-up will come up. You want to click yes. You also will see an option to go back to any questions to change your answers here. If you want, you can choose any of those here and redo your answer. If not, you want to go ahead and submit, click yes, submit. Then you will log out. Please remember, you can raise your hand within the test session. Um, within the testing browser, there is a hand that you can raise and your teacher can talk to you through the testing browser. Those of you on campus, you can raise your own hand. Um, I'll leave this up to the teacher. Uh, you cannot listen to music during the test or have any electronic devices with you during the test session. Just a review of the steps. You need to sign out of your Chromebook completely. Do not put in your password. Go straight down to the app waffle. Look through your apps and find secure test browser. Then you're going to enter in your first name only, your SSID and session ID from your teacher. Confirm it's you. Select your test, wait for your approval of your teacher, turn your camera and mic on. Just to keep the test secure, you cannot take pictures, record, or save any part of this assessment. It's not limited to emailing, photocopying, putting it in Google Drive, recording, texting, or posting to social media. That is not allowed. All notes after you do your test need to be confiscated and trashed. You cannot share your login information with anyone or log in for any other student for that matter. Good luck on your test this week. I know you'll do great. Or even in the upcoming weeks. Good luck.